The standard of care for kidney cancer in the past was a radical nephrectomy, and that was pretty much the standard throughout the 20th century. Over the past decade or two, we have really refined our approach and expanded the number of patients in whom we can offer a partial nephrectomy. One thing that has made partial nephrectomy very attractive is that kidney tumors, unlike a lot of other types of tumors, have a very sharp line of demarcation. They're very well circumscribed, and it's very easy to tell tumor from normal kidney tissue. Because of that, we're able to remove the tumor with a thin margin of normal tissue around it without sacrificing much, if any, normal kidney tissue. Well, partial nephrectomy allows the patient to keep his, his or her kidney, but eliminate the tumor. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. The procedure itself is done usually through an incision, but it can be done laparoscopically or robotically in certain situations. It involves gaining access to the kidney, identifying and isolating the tumor. We then circumscribe the thin capsule around the tumor and enucleate it from the, from the kidney itself by taking a small rim of normal tissue around the tumor to make sure that it's all removed. Each kidney receives about 10% of the overall blood flow from the overall cardiac output from the heart. So there's a lot of blood flowing through your kidneys. The potential risk with that operation, again, because there is so much blood flow to the kidney, is excessive bleeding. It's rarely enough, though, to require a transfusion. The benefits of the procedure are obvious. The patient gets to keep the kidney, and with it, the majority of their renal function. At UPMC, we have refined this technique over the past two decades. I've personally performed over 1,000 partial nephrectomies with uniformly good results. In selected patients who are candidates for partial nephrectomy, the chance of recurrence locally, where the tumor used to be, should be about zero. The chance of overall survival and cancer-free survival is identical, again, with properly selected patients between radical nephrectomy and partial nephrectomy. The biggest thing that physicians need to know about partial nephrectomy is that it is available. When we trained many years ago, a lot of us older physicians, the standard of care was radical nephrectomy. Over the past 10 or 20 years, we've really refined our technique in partial nephrectomy so that it is the new standard of care.